I waited a long time for these. So Ronnie Feig, the CEO and creative director of Kith, is undoubtedly one of the greatest contributors to footwear and sneaker culture over the last decade. It's been countless pairs so far, and Kith clearly has one of the richest histories of footwear collaborations of any brand out there. One brand in particular that Kith has worked with a lot in the past is Clarks. And for their latest collab, Ronnie Feig did something which has never been done before, taking an athletic sneaker and giving it a Clarks outfit. Soul. And it's not just any sneaker, it's one of the most popular sneakers right now, the Adidas Samba, and I finally got my pair. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Kith H Street Samba. So this sneaker initially released back in March of this year and it was quite a limited release. I entered the raffles for the sneaker and of course I didn't get a W and at the time I was really disappointed because I did say that for me it was one of the contenders for sneaker of the year. And luckily due to overwhelming demand, Kith actually opened up the sneaker for pre-order with the promise that the shoes would be delivered in four to six months. The retail price on these was 220 euros. And for my pair it took just a little a bit over six months but man it was worth it. The shoe dropped in three different colorways, each with a different purpose. We had this brown Samba, which is actually the exact shade of brown as the original Clarks Wallabies. The purpose of that pair was to have a more Clarks looking sneaker. Then we had the white and green one, which I think has been the most popular out of the three. This pair was made to look much more like a familiar Adidas Samba colorway, but only with a crepe outsole. And finally, there was this dark green pair with the white Adidas stripes, and the purpose of this shoe was just to look like an everyday sneaker. I went back and forth between the white pair and the green pair at least 50 times. I couldn't decide which one to get. I waited until pretty much the last day of pre-orders and I finally decided to go with the green one. I thought it was the most unique of the three. I didn't really have any other shoes in that color. However, I will say that from afar, the sneaker does look like a black shoe. Up close, yeah, you can tell it's more of a dark green, but on feet, if you're just out and about, it kind of just looks like a black sneaker. And looking back at my decision right now I do kind of regret it because the mistake I made was I didn't order both because these have completely surpassed all expectations I had for this shoe so I'm kind of kicking myself for not ordering the white one as well so with this pair Ronnie Fag had the idea of combining athletic footwear with the classic Clarks Wallabies to give people something that looks familiar but also looks like nothing you've ever seen before yes the shoe is supposed to be modeled after an Adidas Samba but it's actually a completely different shoe with different materials, different sizing, and a different shape. We got a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. Starting off with the box of the shoe, you get a beautiful looking box here with some snow covered mountains and what looks like a little town in the mountains. I'm not entirely sure if this picture is based off of a real town. It does also feature a triple logo here, the Adidas Trefoil with Ronnie Feig and Clarks as well. I guess this is a triple collab. And what I noticed when I opened up the box, there is a lot of paper that comes with these shoes. And not only that, some of the paper was actually stuck to this crepe outsole and I had to peel off a lot of it. And the reason these sneakers have to be individually wrapped in paper is because when these shoes are produced, this crepe outsole, which is a very raw form of rubber, it's quite hot. If the outsoles of the left and right pair touch each other, then your shoes would actually be stuck together. And getting into the shoes, now to the casual observer, you might think that all they did was take an Adidas Samba and put a crepe outsole to it it and call it a day. But that's not the end of it. Ronnie actually wanted the sneaker to have much more Clark's DNA in it. So that's why the upper of the sneaker is not made out of leather like your traditional Sambas. Instead, it's made of a special suede. This suede is called Springbok and it's the exact same suede that's been used to make Clark Wallabies since that brand started. And this suede, I have to say in hand, feels so soft. It feels so nice. The sneaker really does feel like a premium product, especially when your feet are actually in the shoe. They feel great. A lot of people find Sambas quite uncomfortable, but this super soft suede combined with the crepe outsole actually make these one of the most comfortable Sambas ever. On the inside of the sneaker, you can see this logo that's been stamped there. It says Charles F. Stead, which is actually quite a famous leather tannery in England, which Clarks uses to produce a lot of its shoes. And now moving down to this very iconic sole. So inside the sole, there's actually a bit of cushioning. You can see some EVA foam there. And let me just talk about this sole for a bit. So what I 
actually really like about this is that they got the thickness of the sole just right. Especially from the top down, the sneaker doesn't look like a platform shoe. It just looks like a normal sneaker. Crepe is pretty much a very raw form of rubber. Just touching this, it feels super rubbery and almost kind of sticky. You also get some leather bits on the sneaker, like on the heel. The inner lining is also done in leather. And on the insole as well, you see the Ronnie Feig logo there with the Adidas trefoil also done in leather. The sneaker also comes with these leather hang ties, which I actually think I'm gonna leave on my pair. There's also two sets of laces with the shoe so you get some green ones and also white i put on both of them here so you guys can have a look decide which one you think looks better i think i'm gonna have to go with the white this time i do really like the contrast there let me know down in the comments which of the two lace options do you guys prefer moving on to sizing for the shoe so i was really really iffy about what size to get because i know when it comes to sambas i do fit a half size up so i normally fit 11 and a half in sambas however Ronnie Feig himself did post that these sneakers fit true to size. So I just kept thinking, should I trust Ronnie or should I go with what I know Sambas feel like for me? But then I thought I should probably trust Ronnie because these are entirely different models, completely different shoes with different materials produced in different factories. So I ended up ordering them in my true size. And let me just say, thank goodness I trusted Ronnie because these fit perfectly. They kind of fit like a glove. I know that makes no sense. You don't put gloves on your feet but they fit great. So I hope those of you who did pre-order the shoe did actually get them in your true size. And if you're thinking about ordering this on the resale market right now, and by the way, the resale on both these colorways are pretty high. So it seems like people are regretting sleeping on the pre-order back in March. If you are thinking about purchasing these for resale, make sure you do get them in your true size. And here, what I'm wearing is proof that this sneaker can literally go with anything. So the outfit I'm wearing here, it's actually what I just happened to be wearing while I was filming the b-roll for this video and then when it came to the outfit part of the video i was like you know what i think these shoes just go with what i'm wearing right now so i'm just gonna wear this and it really does i mean from afar it looks like a simple black and white sneaker with a brown midsole and i think it just looks great with anything this is truly one of those sneakers you just leave it by the door and you know that no matter what you're wearing you can just throw these on and it's gonna make your fit look great so overall the kith 8 street sambas i gotta say i'm absolutely in love with the sneaker it's a shoe that i know i'm gonna enjoy for years it goes with absolutely anything and the quality on this is very very premium i know some people will think it's too plain it looks too much just like any other samba which is fine by me because this is gonna be one of those if you know you know type of sneakers which are really some of my absolute favorite to collect i really just have one regret about this shoe and that's that i didn't also order the white one let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the clark's adidas sambas are you guys feeling the shoe if you pre-ordered it are you happy with how they turned out let me know in the comments also do not forget to follow your boy on instagram i'm very active on there as well and that's where i'm dropping a lot of fit pics as well which is something i love doing check out my sneaker podcast as well available on spotify and apple music the kickback pod links are in the description and thank you guys so much for supporting this channel and watching this video i'll catch you in the next one